Hi guys, this is the cool down for Unit 2, Lesson 13. Compare each pair of fractions. Use the symbols less than, equal to, and greater than to make each statement true. Explain or show your reasoning. So, let's start with number one. We have 15 eighths and 7 fourths. My strategy is to make equivalent fractions. So I'm going to look at my denominators and I'm going to think of a number that 8 and 4 go into evenly. And it would be 8. All right, now I just multiply. So I'm thinking 4 times what number is 8? 4 times 2. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 7 times 2 is 14. Now um, I'm going to look at 8, and I'm going to think 8 times what number is 8? Oh. 8 times 1. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 15 times 1 is 15. Now I have fractions that have the same denominator. So I can compare them. Well, 15 eighths is greater than 14 eighths. So I'm going to do my greater than sign. Remember, it's always going to point at the bigger amount. Okay, now we're looking at two fifths and thirty hundredths. All right, so we've got some bigger numbers with one hundred and thirty but you can still make equivalent fractions. So I'm looking at 5 and 100, and I'm thinking what number do both of these go into evenly? I know any number that ends in 0, 5 goes into evenly. So 100 is my common denominator here for my equivalent fractions. So now I'm going to think to myself, okay, 100 times what number gives me 100? Well, 1. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 30 times 1 is 30. Now I'm going to look at two fifths, and I'm going to think five times what number is a hundred? Well, five times twenty. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Two times twenty is forty. Now I have two fractions I can compare, forty hundredths and thirty hundredths. Forty hundredths is greater than thirty hundredths, but forty hundredths is my equivalent fraction. So if forty hundredths is bigger, then two fifths is my greater fraction. All right, guys, um, I hope you are enjoying this strategy. We are going to continue practicing it tomorrow.